Year after year, we've been talking about our union, defying gravity. What does it truly mean to defy gravity? It means you ignore the forces that would hold you down. It means despite all evidence that you should not be going up, you continue to climb, to ascend. That is what we've done. That is what we will continue to do. We set out with a list of pretty lofty goals, and we have achieved virtually all of them. At this point, we should have no doubt in our ability to achieve whatever we put our minds to. Our membership has grown, our resources have grown, our staff has grown. Most of our major contracts were ratified by 90% or more. While so many other labor unions, businesses, and even world economies suffered monumental and catastrophic setbacks in 2008, we continued our ascent. We defy gravity. The world witnessed two extraordinary climbs in 2008. The climb of Michael Phelps to the eighth gold medal platform, making him the greatest Olympian of all time. He certainly denied the forces that would have held him down. And we all watched, we were inspired, and many of us assisted in the greatest climb in modern history, the ascent of Barack Obama, the junior senator, the son of an African immigrant, who climbed to the highest office in the land, the presidency of the United States. With profound gratitude and great humility, I accept your nomination for presidency of the United States. All across America, something is stirring. Change happens because the American people demand it, because they rise up and insist on new ideas and new leadership, a new politics for a new time. It is that American spirit, that American promise, that pushes us forward even when the path is uncertain, that binds us together in spite of our differences, that makes us fix our eye not on what is seen, but what is unseen, that better place around the bend. That promise is our greatest inheritance. Regardless of your politics, your race, or your economic disposition, it was impossible to watch what he did and not be moved. He ignored the forces that would have kept him from reaching his goal. And he did it all with the mantra, yes, we can. Always ignore or deny those forces that will tell you it can't be done. We continue to have the responsibility of making our union climb and to help our country climb to new heights. But let's remember, to be fulfilled, to be complete, we must pursue our own personal climbs. It may be a physical climb, a spiritual climb, or an emotional climb. But as we reach new personal, individual heights, we bring others with us. Climbing is contagious. We are only on this earth one time. You don't get a second chance to live. So look deep inside yourself. Think about the climb you need to make. Because the time to do it is now. Whether your climb is simply to put down the remote and get off the couch, grow stronger bonds with the one you love, become a better parent, or master a craft. You may swim across a river or run a marathon, start a garden, learn to play a musical instrument, paint or sculpt. Your climb may be to feed the hungry, strengthen your faith, tackle your inner demons, or scale a mountain to stand on the summit 
and drink in the glory of being alive. It is natural for us to challenge ourselves. The human spirit is meant to be tested. We are destined to reach higher. And the higher we reach, the more we can help others. So set a goal. Experience more. Discover yourself. And inspire others. Just climb. <laughs>